how to set up a master node on the iHost MN platform. In order to run a master node, you will need the following. Funds in your iHost MN account. It cost only 0.99 euros a month per master node hosted, which is one of the lowest prices in the industry and so offers great value. You can easily top up your balance by selecting the top up balance option from the left hand menu once you have logged into your account. From here, enter the amount you want to top up and select your preferred payment method. You have two options. You can either pay with PayPal or you can select coin payments if you wish to pay with cryptocurrency. Once you have made a payment, it will then show in your account balance as seen here. To be on the latest version of the desktop wallet of your chosen masternode. To successfully run a masternode on iHost MN platform, you must make sure you are running the most up-to-date version of the desktop wallet of your chosen masternode. To do this, you can simply check the project's website, GitHub posts, Discord or Telegram channels for your chosen masternode to confirm what the latest version is. If you are not sure what version of a particular wallet you are on, in most cases, you can open your wallet, click on the Tools tab and then the Information tab to reveal the details of your wallet version as seen here. To have enough coins or tokens in your wallet to cover the collateral requirement for the masternode you are setting up. To set up a masternode, you must have the required amount of collateral to send to an address in your wallet. If you are not sure how much collateral is required for your chosen masternode, simply log in to iHostMN account and whilst in the masternode hosting view, scroll through the list of masternodes until you find the coin or token you are looking for and you will receive the required amount under Required Heading. Make sure you have completed these first steps before moving on to the next part of this video. How to set up and configure your new masternode. In this next section of the video, I will show you all the steps you need to take to successfully set up a new masternode using the iHostMN platform. From the masternode hosting screen, select the masternode you wish to set up. In this instance, I will select Bitmoney. You will see an option to buy masternode hosting for this particular crypto, along with a set of instructions below that must be followed in the correct order to avoid any errors. If you followed the instructions at the start of this video, you will already have funded your account and check that your wallet is on the latest version so you should now be ready to send the collateral required to a new address inside your desktop wallet. Before we do this, please note, you must set up one masternode at a time and name them differently in order for them to work. First, a good practice to get into is to use simple naming conventions for each masternode you set up. For example, here I am setting up a masternode for Bitmoney, so in the masternode name field, you can see it already has populated with the name Bitmoney Masternode 1. This works great, so if I was to set up more than one Bitmoney Masternode, then I can simply rename the next one Bitmoney Masternode 2. Please note, you must remember to use a different name for every masternode you set up, otherwise it will not work. Now we know the name of the masternode we are going to set up, we can now go to our desktop wallet and use that same name to create a new address within our wallet to not only send the required collateral to, but to also act as the address where our masternode rewards will be sent to. To do this, with your wallet open, in most cases, you are able to select the file tab and then the receiving addresses option. In here, click on the new button and give your label the same name as you gave your masternode name in the iHost MN platform. Then click on the OK button and then copy this new address ready to send the required collateral to shortly. If you go back to your iHost MN screen, under instructions you will see the exact amount of coins or tokens you need to send to this new address. 
In my case, I need to send 125,000 bit to my new address. To do this, open your wallet and click on the Send tab. Paste the receive address we'd copied earlier and enter the exact amount required. Then, click on the Send button. Before we continue any further, we must wait for 20 confirmations before we can continue. To check this, simply click on the Transactions tab in your wallet and locate your last transaction, and double click on it to reveal the transaction details. At the top, you will likely see the word Status, and next to this, the number of current confirmations on this transaction. Wait until this number shows as 20, and then move on to the next step. Now that we have 20 confirmations, we need to find out what the transaction ID and transaction index are that have been created for this transaction. To do this, open your wallet and click on the Tools tab and select the Debug tab, also known as the Debug Console. You will now be able to enter a command into the console to reveal your transaction ID and your transaction index for this particular transaction. Click on the command line field and enter the words masternode space outputs, then hit enter. You will then see details appear on the screen that look like this. The long line of code is your transaction ID and the single number on the end is your transaction index. Copy these details into your iHost MN platform and then click on the Buy button. Your order will now be processed and you can confirm you are happy to go ahead and set up your masternode. Occasionally, you will see an error message if the Coins Block Explorer is currently being updated due to a recent wallet release. Do not panic, this is normal. If you go back to your dashboard, you will see your new masternode coin status which lets you know when your masternode has been successfully set up on the iHostMN platform and ready for you to configure your wallet. Once the status of your new masternode changes to please start your masternode from your local wallet, click on the masternode to reveal your new masternode configuration text that we will need to save into your Bitmoney masternode configuration file on your desktop. Copy all the text in this box. And then open your wallet and click on the Tools tab and then select Open Masternode Config File. Now, enter a new line directly under the example text and paste in your new line of code. Now close the file and save the changes. Now, you must close your wallet and then reopen your wallet again and allow it to sync. Once your wallet has synced again, click on the Tools tab and select the Debug Console. Now, go back into iHostMN and copy the command line presented. And then go back to your wallet and paste in this command line into the Debug Console field and hit Enter. You will then see a message like this stating whether your masternode setup was a success or not. We can then click on the masternode tab within the wallet to check on the status of our new masternode. At the start, it will have a status of missing. Once you have started an alliance with the masternode, the status can change from missing to pre-enabled, and finally to enabled once it has fully synced up. You can then go back to your iHostMN account, and within the dashboard view, you can check the status of your new masternode. It should state that your masternode successfully started. That's it, your masternode is all set up and you should start receiving rewards very soon. Additional features. There are a few additional features available to you once you have set up a masternode. By clicking on one of your masternodes, from the dashboard, you will see an option to restart your wallet. You can also re-index your wallet if you feel something is amiss, 
And if your coin has just updated their wallet and you're not sure if it has been updated on the iHost MM platform, you can click on the Request Wallet Update button to notify support. Additionally, you can extend the duration of your Masternode hosting by one month by clicking on this button. And if you wish to end your Masternode hosting at the end of your paid period, you can click on this button. And if you wish to delete your Masternode immediately, you can click on this button to perform that action. Check out our other videos for more tutorials on how to use all the features of iHostMN. Thanks for watching.